Hello and welcome to a Somerville Media Center video tutorial on how to use DaVinci Resolve. This is part two of our how to get started using DaVinci Resolve training. Um, as you can see, I've already opened up Resolve. I have everything my clip I'm going to be using loaded. And first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to the bottom of the screen and go into editing mode. This, if you're used to Adobe Premiere, should look very familiar. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to click this clip, bring it into the uh, preview window. Okay. And um, if you're familiar with Premiere, you can you know you can use the I key and the O key to mark in and out points. Um, then you can use a simply drag it down in here and we have now I noticed that our typical playhead you can you use you have hyperlinks to you can use the L key to go fast forward, the J key to go fast back, the K key to stop, exactly as you're used to doing. If you want to see the audio mixer, you simply go up to the top of the screen, and you can see this tab labeled Mixer. You can click it. You can see three dots. I'll I choose between Mixer and Meter. I like to keep it on you Meter. Have hyperlinks to it. In the beginning. If you move your mouse over here, you will be able to expand the audio window so you can see the waveform. Dozens of, of resources. And if you want to add some audio keyframing, if you want to kind of smooth the audio in and out, simply hold down the, the Alt key and click. And you'll create keyframes. Is, uh you have direct links to the city, city guidelines and uh, coronavirus, any updates, uh, the federal updates. So there are hyperlinks, there are media links, and information. Is As you work just like in Premiere, also like Premiere, Command Z will undo all that. In order to activate the blade tool, so you can cut just like this, you do have to do a little bit of configuration. Simply go to DaVinci Resolve and go to Keyboard Customization, as you did earlier. And typically, as you saw in our last video, you have to make some changes. I had it set in Premiere Pro. All you'd have to do is where it says Commands, go down to Trim, and in Blade Edit Mode, click this little box and hit the C key. That will allow you to make it so that the C key turns you into Blade Edit Mode, hit Save, and simply give it a name. Then hit OK. Then you can use the C key to cut. And the P key will take you back to the arrow. Your ripple deletes and all that still function. So to do a transition, you see over here where it says Toolbox Video Transitions. If you don't see it, simply come up top to the Effects Library. Click the Effects Library tab and it'll open it all up. And I'm going to zoom in here using Command Plus, just like you would in Premiere. And let's say I want to take this cross dissolve. I can drag that cross dissolve down. Or we know what organization English and Spanish are. I was still in bladed mode. We don't want to be in bladed mode. We know what organization English and Spanish are. So you have a variety of transitions, I would encourage you to experiment. If you would like to do some cropping of a clip, simply click the clip you want and go to Inspector. That'll open up this tab right here. And we can actually go past beyond and go into cropping. Clicking here will allow me to open up my crop window and I can crop from the bottom, the top, the right, and the left. I also have my standard transform tools, so I can zoom in or modify the position. The pitch or the yaw. I can even flip it. Let's undo all that. You can also undo by hitting this reset button. 
For other effects, go back to your toolbox and then, then go back to your toolbox and click Open FX. Here you have a wide variety of effects. I can search for Blur and I can grab Caution and Blur. Now you can see a tab is opened next to between video and audio called Open FX and it is my Blur. I can do all my normal modifications. I can reset. I can turn off the clip, just like you could in Adobe Premiere. Does it obviously do have support? One of the last things we're going to cover today is how to do text on the screen. So let's say I wanted oh. to do a little bit of text. We can go down here where it says titles. I do have some lower thirds, so let's say I want to do a middle lower third. I can simply drag that to right here, click it, now I have some text. I also have, of course, complete font control. I also have just plain text I could also use. Same thing. I can then Go to Generators, grab a solid color, say this black, and then go into its settings and crop it. Obviously, this is not an ideal text layout but for the purposes of this demonstration, you should understand how to put the text on and create this black background. You could, of course, position it in a more suitable location, along with the text itself. Voila. Now, for color correction, for your video clip, we can go into the color wheel. This is beyond the scope of this video tutorial, however, I did want to draw your attention to it. If you had need of color correction, you can use these tools in here. For example, let's say I wanted to adjust the red. I can click my scopes, and let's say I wanted to bring down the red, simply click, voila, and then I wanted to there, that looks suitably terrible, wouldn't you say? I can go back to my editing. And that is all we're going to cover in this video tutorial. Look out for part three, where we'll be covering exporting and submitting to some of the Media Center. This video tutorial is just a brief overview. If you have additional questions, please feel free to reach out. A stone at summervillemedia.org. Thank you.